A recession is all but inevitable for the U.S. economy. Billionaires and analysts have begun preparing their portfolios for the upcoming downturn. But how exactly are they doing this? In today's video, we will be talking about 5 things that you can do to survive or possibly even profit from the upcoming recession. Stick around as these tips we have can dictate whether or not you come out on top once the recession ends. Thanks for supporting our channel. Let's dive right into the video. If you've been following the news, you've surely seen that virtually every business mogul, financial expert, and economist has cautioned that an economic crisis is imminent. For instance, Bill Gates predicted that there will be a decrease in economic activity all around the world this year. In anticipation of financial losses brought on by the recession, Elon Musk is reducing the workforce at the firms he controls. Uh, we expect to see, like I said, roughly a 10% reduction in uh, salary, salary workforce, which is actually just really only three, three and a half percent reduction in total headcount. Jamie Dimon has stated that he is preparing for a financial typhoon to strike the United States. When thinks the, the Fed can handle this, that hurricane is right out there down the road coming our way. We just don't know if it's a minor one or Superstorm Sandy or uh, yeah, Sandy or or uh, Andrew or something like that. And it's you, you better brace yourself. According to a recent poll, 70% of Americans anticipate a recession in the near future. It appears that the economy is about to collapse. If you look at the number of times the United States has had a recession, you'll see that economic downturns aren't anything new. They're a normal and necessary element for the economy's growth and decline, despite how disastrous they seem. Economies often peak and begin to cool off naturally after reaching their maximum potential. If you look back far enough, you'll notice that recessions were more frequent before the Federal Reserve was established. After a period of rapid boom, often between two and three years, the economy would level off before beginning its subsequent expansion. Thanks to central bank intervention, economic expansions that are seven or eight years long are now the norm. In fact, we recently set a new record of 10 years and eight months. Given that we experience a recession under COVID and a new recession is approaching, it appears that our ability to use Fed policy to prevent recessions has peaked. We will not get into the specifics of the impending economic downturn. This is a topic we've covered in past videos. In that case, let's figure out what we can do to protect ourselves from the next economic downturn. How can you profit from the next economic downturn and ensure that you emerge in a far stronger financial position? First, always make sure you have some cash on hand. A financial crisis is a time of instability in the economy. The value of cash in hand is highest at this moment. When there is an increase in overall economic activity, there is a plentiful supply of cash. Therefore, few people are concerned about its availability. People make risky investments without thinking about the repercussions. Due to this, cryptocurrency and NFTs have experienced tremendous growth during the previous two years. But when the Federal Reserve indicated that a recession is probable, even the country's wealthiest individual dumped his bitcoins and started stockpiling cash. Investors realized they should be more like Warren Buffett and favor the safety of having cash over speculation. His reputation hasn't been rising to the level of others like Kathy Wood or Elon Musk during the past two years. However, that is precisely what sets him apart. He has a huge fortune at his disposal and is just waiting for the right moment to strike. Cutting costs and stocking up cash is the greatest approach to be prepared for the next economic downturn. The already high cost of living has been further inflated by the current period of extreme inflation. Once the problems with global supply networks are fixed, the inflation rate will drop, but that could take another year. 
In light of this, it is recommended that you save as much money as possible in preparation for the next economic downturn. Second, put money into companies with cash flow. During times of economic instability, many companies are forced to drastically reduce their workforces or go bankrupt due to a lack of available funds. Keep in mind that employees have basic needs, such as eating and housing themselves, and therefore will not work without compensation. Therefore, it is not surprising that many companies are closing their doors all at once. Major firms such as GM, Chrysler, AIG, and others all declared bankruptcy during the 2008 economic downturn. They were bought up by larger, more secure businesses or even governments. Investments should be made in firms that have sufficient financial reserves to weather any economic storm. This explains why some corporations like Apple and Microsoft have such large cash reserves regardless of the fact that inflation is rather high. It is considerably preferable to let inflation gradually erode the wealth than to be unprepared for a recession. Examining the company's financial sheet can give you a good idea of its liquidity. If the company in question is publicly traded, you should have little trouble locating its financial records. However, you should not anticipate that every enterprise will have more than $200 billion reserve cash on hand like Apple does. Thirdly, you should view a recession as a chance to make money. It would appear that a period of economic downturn would be the worst to launch a new venture. Reality, however, demonstrates that this is totally untrue. During periods of economic expansion, it is extremely challenging, if not impossible, to compete with established market leaders. Nonetheless, when large firms are preoccupied with their own internal difficulties and bureaucracy, Small businesses can use this opportunity to grow and possibly even surpass their giant rivals. For instance, WhatsApp was launched in 2009, right when the financial crisis was beginning to take its toll on the world. After some time had passed, Facebook paid a whopping $19 billion to purchase WhatsApp. Its value has increased substantially now that it has more than 2 billion users. Another case in point is Uber. Though it has yet to earn a profit since its establishment in 2009, its current valuation is close to $50 billion. There are many other cases including Pinterest, Venmo, and Slack, among many others. Bitcoin is, without a doubt, the most well-known cryptocurrency today. The financial crisis of 2008 served as a catalyst for Satoshi Nakamoto to develop Bitcoin. As a result, a whole business was born, making numerous individuals millions and even billions. Just a few examples are Coinbase, Binance, and Gemini. Tesla came dangerously close to going out of business during the downturn, but was able to weather the storm and use it as an opportunity to reinvent itself and become a leader in the EV sector. Other automakers declared bankruptcy at that time but Tesla came out on top. But it goes beyond merely launching a successful business. Recessions are great times to advance in one's profession. Assuming your share of responsibility during times of instability will provide you an advantage over other workers, allowing you to move upwards on the corporate ladder much more quickly in a short amount of time. A number of senior executives were forced out of their jobs by their less experienced subordinates during the most recent crisis. Fourth, avoid selling off. Having patience is simple when there is so much progress in the economy. The value of a Bitcoin investor's holdings would have increased considerably in a brief amount of time had they bought the cryptocurrency when it was trading at $11,000. On the other hand, when a bear market is present, the exact reverse occurs. Many individuals are getting antsy and selling up their assets in the mistaken belief that the end of the universe is approaching. The stock market is remarkably resilient, having weathered the Great Depression, World War II, repeated recessions, the Gulf War, 
and countless other catastrophic disasters. The only traders who came out ahead were those who either sold their holdings before the market plummeted, which is nearly unthinkable to do given that predicting the market's movements is not as simple as you may believe it to be, or waited until the crisis was over and the market started to recover before selling their stocks. Fifth, avoid taking on debts. You will have a hard time surviving a recession if you haven't made any preparations for one. When people are unable to buy basic commodities, they find themselves in financial distress and are forced to turn to debt for help. Recessions caused by financial bubbles or inflation, like what we are experiencing now, typically result in the Federal Reserve raising interest rates, making debt more costly. The Federal Reserve increased interest rates to 5.25% in 2007, right at the height of the property bubble. Consider what the rate would have been for regular consumers like yourself. The Federal Reserve boosted interest rates to a level of 6.5% by the year 2000 amid the height of the dot-com bubble. For this reason, the poor suffer more during economic downturns than the rich do because they have money to put aside. Therefore, the poor people may have to take out loans in order to provide for their families during economic downturns. Meanwhile, the wealthy may be able to capitalize on such circumstances with their plentiful reserves of cash. These are only some of the strategies of how you can prepare yourself for the next recession that may arise. Ultimately, you must take into account your particular situation, which will probably be unique compared to everyone else's. What are your thoughts on the strategies that we have covered? Do you have your own plan on how to survive the upcoming recession? Give us your thoughts in the comments section down below. If you enjoy this video, give us a like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.